day five of 30 days of love songs. And this is a tough night because I lost somebody who I loved, who I love today. This is an original song, it's a love song. There's a land I seek When I'm cast adrift On a dark lake There's a land I seek And the earth is from beneath my feet I seek the land of you There's a song I sing when I'm lost at sea, when the wind howls high and the dark is all around me. There's a song I sing. Oh, man.
challenge this 30 days of love song this is my second challenge I did a challenge just before Christmas it was a challenge all about how to 15 different ways of playing silent night but this challenge is different this challenge is all about love songs and it's all about love songs that I love, love songs I've written, love songs that I just love, and it's about vulnerability. It's about the vulnerability of sharing something that I really love, the vulnerability that we all have when we share something that we really love. And we don't know if other people will love it or not, but the point is, it is what we love. And when we share that, we're, we're opening ourselves up. And that is my goal. I have this motto, I've always had this, not always had this motto, I've had this motto since I ever first heard it, which is don't hide more. No, it is a don't do more, hide less. Um, and it was said by Yertsi Grotowski, and I heard it when I was doing a workshop for harp players up in uh, at the Celebration Barn in South Paris, Maine, which is where I went to learn all about storytelling and about how to embrace or em embrace myself in my life and in my body and in my instrument. So I went up to uh, South Paris, Maine to study with a man named Tony Montanaro. <laughs> When I was so frustrated, I was playing a big concert harp and I was so frustrated because I felt like I was stuck behind it and I couldn't really express myself and I was only, you know, trying to be impressive and play the best that I could. Um, and, and working with Tony, who was a mime, who talked and didn't wear white face, I learned to have a new experience with the harp. I learned to stop seeing it as a harp. And that was intentional on his part. We literally took the harp that I had. I didn't have a harp like this. It was a big concert harp and everybody played with it, literally played with it. So we put the harp in the middle of the floor and all the different people in the workshop, none of whom had ever played a harp before, came to it and started playing with it as if it were a toy or as if it were just like something, you know, so, so, you know, playing with the shape of it, you know, like as if it were a ski slope or just, you know, not, not trying to make noise with it, but like, what, what is it? Like, is it a bow? Is it a bow and arrow? Like, what are all the things that this make you think of? And, and I remember one, one guy got up and he said, is it okay if I touch it? Is it okay if I shift it? And I was like, yeah, okay, that's fine. And he put the harp down on its front and he got on it and as if he were riding a horse and he just like, you know, he was pretending that he was riding a horse. And suddenly my, just, my eyes just, my inner eyes just went boom. And I was able to see the instrument as a different thing. I was able to disconnect it from everything that I thought a harp was. And this, this thing that happens when we put ourselves into a situation is a practice. So I'm, uh, I have these 
seven principles that I love to think about of creative resonance. I also call them the strings of passion. And one of them is the principle of practice. So you can practice to get something, but you can also have a practice so that it can get to you. And that's what this is for me. It is a practice to come here every night for 30 days and sing a love song, different love songs that I love in different ways to see if that can get to me, if I can put myself in a position where that gets to me, where I open up in ways that I couldn't open up just on my own. So let's go back to Celebration Barn. Probably 20 years after I met Tony and I worked with him, he was gone and his wife, Karen Montanaro, and I were there and we were giving a workshop for harp players called Performance for Musicians. And every morning we would, I don't know, Karen would wax poetic. She would stand up and talk about, I mean, she just is poetry. She is. And I just, I, I, you know, you know, there's a, a moment when you hear something, when something opens up for you. And I remember sitting there and she was talking about what she thought about the night before. And she brought this quote out by Yertsi Grotowski, don't do more, hide less. And it was just like, boom, that's for me. You know, I don't know, have you ever felt that? How you, you know, there's life and there's stuff, you know, and then there's, and then there's something that's like, that's for me. I, I remember the first time I saw a personal computer, like there weren't any personal computers when I was a kid, but the first time I saw a personal computer, I was like, that is for me. That is something I can do anything with. I can like create whole worlds out of that. And that was exactly how I felt when I saw my first three ring binder. It was like, that's a thing that you can shift things and move them around in different, in, in different orders. You can have fun with it. You can play around with it. I, I'm, I know I'm not making sense. I'm, I can, I'm not making sense. And that's just how it is tonight. Not say I'm going to come here and make sense. I said I'm going to come here and I'm going to play. And I'm going to play songs that are meaningful to me about love and about romance. And I'm going to keep doing it. And even if I feel like I'm being in, like I'm not doing what I said I was going to do, like I'm not being vulnerable, I'm maybe I feel like I am coming here and hiding, I'm still going to come and do it. Because that is a practice and I'm trusting that if I keep coming and I keep showing up and I just keep being here, that whatever I'm looking for in myself is gonna show up. There's a land I see
I'm always afraid to say your name because I'm always afraid I'm going to say it wrong. I always forget. You always tell me exactly how to say it and then I forget. Chalice. 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 Ch Hi, Victoria. You're going to sing back to me? You know, I, I, I'm afraid to hit C more because if I do, I'm afraid that Facebook is just going to get rid of all of it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, the cat's here again. Wishes to say goodnight. Come here. Come on, go see Tip. Here she is, here she is, Cosita the cat. <laughs> I needed that. Oh, thank you. I really needed to connect. You're so welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I, I, I also promised that I would just say a little bit about each song. And so I do want to say something about this song. Um, first of all, as usual, as last night, I had to shift it down to a new key. because <clears throat> I uh, Oh, because this harp actually doesn't play in the key that the original was in. But you know what I really love about this song? It's just got this first beautiful chord. And it's a kind of a D minor chord. D, A, E, F. G, C, E. But what is really beautiful is that then one of these inner notes moves up. And that's what makes the movement is so beautiful. I just love that. rising like not the top voice and then I really love there's this bridge in the middle when it goes to the major again it goes to a bossa nova when I wake when
of the one of the reasons I love this song is that it uses it uses like all the harmonies. things I'm that I, it's the, one of the only thing that I don't like is and maybe I'll figure this out is that now that I've moved it into the new key it's just so so resonant that it's hard to hear let's see if I if I I think it's hard to hear the harmony hard to hear the harmony down there but so that is sort of deconstructing it Okay, thank you. I just don't feel like going to bed yet. I'm not actually gonna say anything more. I'm just gonna look at you for a minute. All right, well, the inauguration is today too. All right, now I do feel vulnerable. I don't wanna say good night. I really don't wanna say good night, but I'm gonna say good night. Okay. Good night. Good night, Daniel. Good night, Linda. Mm. Good night.